Last season, Barcelona conceded 20 goals in total over the whole La Liga season. But up till now, this season they've already conceded 8 goals in La Liga. And we're only in September. You can do the math. It's clear that there's a difference in their defensive solidity. So what has actually happened? Why do Barcelona suddenly seem to have lost the incredible defense? Well, that's what we'll discuss in this video, so make sure to stay tuned. First problem that we need to talk about is Barcelona's attack, because your first line of defense are of course your attacking players. When Xavi first arrived at Barcelona, one of the most blatant changes we saw in their way of playing was their aggressive way of putting pressure after having lost the ball. It was clearly one of Xavi's main ideas about football. If you lose the ball, you make sure you win it back as quickly as possible. Now, this season, if you compare Barcelona to the team of one year ago, or even that in 21-2022 season, Barcelona actually seemed less aggressive and cutthroat in the way they go about pressing the opposition defenders. Last season, Barcelona often created a swarm of players around the opposition player in possession, a role that the wingers and the midfielders, Pedri and Dembélé for example, executed very well, and that often made Barcelona regain possession. I don't know why, but we're not seeing it as much from this current Barcelona side. In some games, like against Mallorca, it's really just because the opponent is aware of the danger of Barcelona's high press and play a long ball. One thing that could be to blame for Barcelona seeming less willing to win that ball back is that there are a lot of new players. And to put pressure, you need great chemistry, which of course needs some time to develop. I don't think that Xavi has told the players to specifically not put too much pressure anymore. I just think that he needs to reinstall this element of Barcelona's football into the mind of the team and put some emphasis on it again. Because, of course, you can't concede a goal if you have the ball yourself. Next, we need to talk about the centre-backs. Christensen and Koundé have honestly still been good, but Ronald Araujo has been absent for a while, and that has had its effect at moments. Even now that he is back, it's clear that he needs some time to get back into top form again, because we definitely haven't seen him at his best against Celta and Mallorca. For Inigo Martinez, who was horrible against Mallorca honestly, it's the same case. He also just needs some time to get things flowing. It's especially the lack of a good Ronald Araujo though that has caused Barcelona to concede some goals that they wouldn't have conceded last season. Celta's second goal for example, you can go and watch it. A good Ronald Araujo never allows that to happen. Him at his best is what really separates this defense from casual and world class. Because last season in the Champions League games at home against Inter and Bayern for example, where he was out injured, Barcelona conceded 3 goals in one game. Would that have happened with Araujo? Probably not, right? Ronald Araujo at his best is what his Barcelona team needs right now to get back to their very best. And I'm sure that it'll only take a couple of games to get him back to that level again. Next thing we need to talk about is João Cancelo actually. There's no doubt that it's better to have him at right back than Sergio Roberto. And attacking wise, he's been really great thus far, providing more creativity and movement in that midfield, and being an actual goal threat. But defensively, I don't know. He's not bad at defending, but with his attacking position up in midfield, and Alejandro Balde playing really offensive on the other side as well, Barcelona do leave themselves wide open. Last season, Jules Koundé often played at right back, and defensively he was rock solid of course, and he never went too high up the pitch. So Barcelona do just have a riskier way of playing now with Cancelo at right back. That's why it's logical that opponents get more room, create more chances, and score more goals against us. But what's the solution to this? Well, in most games, I think it's just fine to play João Cancelo at right back. Having a good Ronald Araujo again and giving some time for these players to develop better chemistry might solve this problem. In most games. Do you want to play João Cancelo at right back against Real Madrid when Vinicius is playing on the left side? You could, for safety reasons, play Koundé at right back again in those kind of games and maybe slot Cancelo into midfield in some way. He doesn't even have to be benched. Barcelona, compared to last season, just have a riskier way of playing now because of João Cancelo. And it's one of the reasons why they have conceded more goals. But attacking wise, he does offer enough for the rewards to be worth the risk. Lastly, I only need to say 5 more words. Sergi, Roberto and Marcos Alonso. One year ago, Barcelona still had Jordi Alba who could replace Balde when he needed some rest. And though he wasn't at his best anymore, he was still a good left back. Now, the problem is that if you want to rest Balde, it's Marcos Alonso who you need to play. And frankly, he's just not Barcelona material. Attacking wise, he doesn't offer you anything but good shooting and crossing abilities. And defensively, he just doesn't belong in a Barcelona defense. And makes too much errors. He's never been good enough, honestly. But it's because Jordi Alba is gone that it's so blatantly clear right now. Barcelona should really have bought another left back this summer. For now, the best option is probably to use João Cancelo as a backup left back. 
and to let Marcus Alonso come in as a substitute sometimes, but please just never let him start any games. With Sergio Roberto, the big problem is that he keeps on getting older, and you see it in his performances. He's not the handy rotational player to have anymore. He makes too much errors defensively when he plays, against Villarreal for example, where he was one of the reasons for conceding three goals in one game. Xavi really just shouldn't use him in any important moments. At right back, Xavi should use Koundé if Cancela has to be rested, or Araujo even, Ronald Araujo. Because next season, Barcelona might have Julian Araujo as an option at right back as well, when he comes back from his loan spell at Las Palmas, where he's honestly doing great right now. Barcelona being less defensively solid than one year ago has different reasons to it really. Ronald Araujo has been injured and out of form, our attacking press has been better, we play riskier football right now with Jacques Cancelo, and Xavi has given too much game time to Sergio Roberto and Marcos Alonso. It's not that hard to solve these problems though, and most of them will be solved with time itself. So I do think that Barcelona's defensive record will improve again for the rest of the season, and that this team will reclaim their title of being that hard to score against. That was it for today's video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and feel free to share your own opinion in the comments down below. Forza Barca, and have a good day.